upstairs for everybody? Yeah, I think so. No, no, I won't fit with those handles. No? This thing makes my hips rather wide. What happened? Person. Why don't you tell us what happened? So yesterday, I got an argument with my husband on the phone, and he was in Texas working, and I found some stuff that he'd been doing, so he was really defensive. And so I took the kids. We spent the night in a hotel because I knew he was coming home. And um, so this morning, when I took my son to school, which he goes I went into the school to take him into school. He was waiting somewhere and, like, stole my purse out of the car. My whole purse, so my phone, my wallet, my money, my everything was in there. So I didn't have, I had the door locked, but the sunroof was open because we have a service dog and he was in the car and I didn't want to, my son was kind of throwing a fit, I didn't want to get them both out of the car because it was a mess this morning. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have any of our stuff because we spent the night in the hotel and he was out of his element. And so I didn't lock the door like for like the first time ever and he like, whatever, either got it out, of, I don't remember if the door was locked, he got it out or he reached through the sunroof and just got it. But then he started texting all my family and all my friends and impersonating me and tried and got my friend lured over to the house to meet him, where he had like kicked in the door to get into the house and stuff. So you did that this morning. Last night. Last night. Okay. Which I'm glad we weren't there. So. Right. Right. Okay. And so when I got there, I'm like, Lori. Where's Lori? But he oh, texted her from my phone because oh, he was pretending to be me, saying, "Oh, come meet me at the house." How did he, what, what did he say to you? He said, can you come to the house now? And, then and I did. said, sure. Yeah, and he, you know, proceeded to act like he was himself. Yeah, there were text messages on your phone? I had it on my phone. But I, so when I got there, I said, um, you've been using Lori's phone to connect with me. He goes, sorry, I've deceived you. I said, oh, okay, yeah, you did. And I, I, luckily, there were some other people there that were, he's he already got, got He the, was changing the, the locks and probably the, locks the door were there. where he kicked mm -hmm. it in. So the locksmiths were there, so I'm glad that they were there. But there was a white Suburban, which I, you know, I, I don't know. It was up in the, I don't know where he got that car. But anyway, it was a few vehicles, so I didn't know, you know, who he, I, I, I suspected it would be her. I should have noticed that your car wasn't there, but I didn't notice that. Okay, so, what kind of car did you drive? Um, an Infiniti QS30. What? So, so you got to the house and then you got there and said, yeah, I deceived you and then... Yeah, so I said, where's Lori? Oh. He wanted me to come over there and get some information about her, pretty much. Oh, okay, what did he ask you? He was asking, like, what's got into her, like... Where is, she, uh, where, right? is she, where is she? Of course, I didn't say where she was. I didn't know where she was. She didn't, I, I didn't tell she anybody. Was. She didn't tell me. She, I guess she thought it was safer for everybody. Yeah, to know. he just basically wanted me to take his side, I think, and just say, you know. Tell her how crazy I was and right. stuff like that. So. Hmm. What was yeah. your name? Melanie. Your last name? Gibb. G-I-B-B. Just because it's for documentation later, what's your uh, date of birth? <laughs> so okay, so he had you come there. I was asking you questions. So, like, is this something that's happened before, or is this yeah, like? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. We've had to leave and go to hotels just to like calm down or something, you know. Done that before. What What is it like that motivates him doing this kind of stuff? Is it? Does he say why? He just goes nuts sometimes. But this time I, I caught him cheating, and I had evidence, and I told him about it. And he travels a lot for business, so. I told him about it. I told him not to come home and that his stuff would be gone and that his car would be gone and all those things. <laughs> so he's a little mad. <laughs> She's just trying to protect herself. Yeah. But I just left with the kids because I didn't want them to do all the drama. Yeah. So, yeah. So then you took your phone and purse and have you tried to make contact with you since? He's trying to contact me through her. He has my phone. I don't have a way to be contacted. Yeah, and I didn't know her. I didn't know what her. I couldn't contact her. Nobody could contact me. I just went and bought a phone, so I knew how to call a little throw away phone. Have you called him to ask him if he'd bring your stuff back? Well, he talked to her about it. So. And what was? Yeah, he's. 
I said, would you be willing to uh, give me the purse for Lori? You know, um, and he goes, no, unless she does this, this, and, you know, and all these. Don't things. don't speak in generalities. I, oh, I want specifics. What what did he say? So he wanted you to go to meet therapy. Uh, he wasn't going to give you the purse. He just was saying he'd give it to me if I need him there. Okay. Right. So I don't really want to talk to him today if I don't have kids. So. Okay. Yeah. So if we get if we have him bring the purse back, are we all good? Like I mean. You're not willing to meet with him at a, with, with the therapist or anything well, to try to get it back. I don't want to meet with him because I don't know. He's very sneaky. So like, what he'll do is meet me in the parking lot and mess around with me, you know, okay. whatever. Like he's not going to just. What if we called him and therapy, see if he'll but... come here and we can facilitate him giving your purse back? Yeah. Texting her. Yeah. Texting yeah. All my, yeah. All my too, yeah, though. he definitely yeah. has her phone. So we know it was him that took the purse because he. Uh, what, phone. What's he texting you? Um, he. Well, I have the text. He was basically just texting me. He was acting like that my son was in danger. I've been worried about JJ's okay. safety and things, and texting her like he's gonna. So he at first texts me, "You doing okay today?" Hey. I may not be home for a bit. Love you. Sent me a strange link to a website about our church. About crazy that, people. Yeah. Um, said, this is what's happening. And then he texted me at almost midnight. I'm sorry, but I have no choice. I'm just sick. I had no choice. Which I'm, he didn't file a police report or anything as far as we know. So I'm just assuming he was trying to get a response. And then I love you. He was, police report about what? Or I don't know, but he was acting like he did something. And then basically. those text messages came from. Do you have it entered as mom's phone or? No, that was from him. That's before. That was from his that's phone. Before he, he didn't take the yeah. purse until eight thirty. This was last night at that school. So that was from his okay. phone. And he was sending word for word the same text to my cousin, like. What? What's his name? Charles. What's his phone? Number? My friend told me, my friend that's a police officer, he said, go file a report, file a restraining order, all stuff. I don't want to do all that stuff. I just wanted to be on record. And if you can get the purse back, that would be lovely. Because all my okay. stuff's in there. I'm really mad about my lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> what about all credit cards? Uh, well, he has all the cards with all the yeah. So he's mad because I took the money out of our account. But it's a joint account, so he wants me to give him money. Okay, well, that's all a civil issue. Th that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, purse? There's no reason why he's walking around with your purse, your ID. That he doesn't have a right to. Right. Married that's or not married. All the rest of the stuff is our joint stuff together. Yeah. So. All right. Um, we're going to leave the room temporarily. We're going to try to give him a call, see if we can't get this rectified. That'd be great. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right. We'll just we'll go back here. Get cell phone. You want to try calling or you want me to call? I don't know. This one's a little confusing for me, honestly. I'll call. I love these calls. Oh, yeah. You're, I would actually love to hear how you do it. Charles. Hello. Hi, this is Officer Edgerton, Gilbert PD. Is this Charles? Hey, Charles, uh, the reason why I'm calling right now is your, your wife's at the police department uh, claiming you stole her purse and her cell phone. Okay, you, you realize they don't belong to you, correct? Okay, so that that's a civil issue, and she's responsible for every penny. When you guys, if you guys end up going through divorce proceedings, Okay, and you also texted a friend to meet you at the house last night under the guise that you were her? What was that for? So you texted a friend of hers to meet you at the house last night 
uh, using her cell phone. What, what was that all about? Oh, this morning? Okay. Yeah, we, we read the report from earlier today regarding you not being able to get into the house and everything, so... I don't. I do not have the order in front of me, so I. I, I do. I cannot do that. It's got to be approved, and I know I cannot keep her from. I cannot get her. Well, it's got to go to our sergeant, who's got to call, verify that it's good, and then we get dispatched. So. So that, that's just how the process works. And I can't, I can't keep somebody against their will uh, without a warrant or a val the valid. Well, I'm, I'm telling you right now, we have a process. You come here, you turn it in, it goes to a sergeant. Sergeant calls the doctor. Okay, well, I don't, I don't have that. And for all we know, it's not valid anymore. I do not know. What, what I'm concerned about... Yeah, well, that's that's not that's that's not what I'm 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 discussing a whole separate issue right now, and that's her getting her belongings back. Okay, you're saying it's at the house, which you changed the locks on, correct? So she doesn't have access to. Yes. So uh, unless you want to be charged with theft, we need we need to get that purse back to her. If you want to come here with the purse and that order, we can get this all try, kind of try to figure it out. And the purse and her cell phone. Okay. So how how soon can you be here? We're we're at the police department, 75 East Civic Center Drive, Gilbert Warner. Thank you. All right, how long? I know. All right, but he says he's coming. With the order. This is going to get real interesting. I hope so. All right. <laughs> All right. This is good. Yeah. Um, all right. 